So, if all the elements work in tandem, the effect can only be breathtaking. Having said that, we open the floor for questions. I'm sure a lot of the friends out here from the media have a lot of questions for the global executives and also for Ketan and Navi. We look forward to the questions. Please, thank you very much. From an India perspective as well, we have seen um, from from our view, uh, let's say over the ten, over the past 10, 15 years, uh, possibly, um, we have seen a huge increase in demand for um, luxury fabrics. And um, and people are, as uh, as Prakash said, are also very well aware. Uh, so we have seen that there's a lot more awareness in terms of people will come in and say, I would like to buy this kind of count of fabric or this kind of quality of fabric. Increased exponentially over uh, the past, uh, you know, 10, 15 years. And I think this is a wonderful uh, uh, change that we have seen. And we think that this is only the beginning and it's going to, uh, to, there's a lot of scope for it to grow uh, far more in the same uh, in the same realm. Um, so yeah, that, that is my addition to it. I think even from a tailoring perspective, the uh, you know required the demand has quite changed. Until about five six years ago, uh, you know we had absolutely no demand for a full canvas suit. But you know it's, um, and the general uh, awareness of our clientele has become. Uh, uh, so high that we come now asking for uh, full canvas. So earlier we used to have, you know, barely 10% of our production used to be, you know, bespoke and full canvas. So now that number is slowly increasing, demand is going up, people want more exclusivity, and, uh, you know, this kind of, uh, uh, you know, and that business is growing uh, steadily for us. It's an honor, a pleasure. Congratulations on a uh, milestone, 100 years into tailoring. Uh, it's, uh, it's admirable and I'm privileged to be here to witness this. Uh, um, with regards to bespoke, over the years there has been a shift. Uh, people keep changing their mind what they want to do. If they want to make custom tailored clothes or they want to go for ready mates, so forth. Certain time there was this new trend where everybody went towards the ready mates. So during that time there was a huge shift, but eventually people understood that they knew they want to wear something which is unique. Well, uh, to the team, team Rao group, thank you very much for inviting uh, me to this special event. And congratulations. Um, just to elaborate on the casual aspect of the of the uh, part of the business, um, that's a big trend. It's been a big trend for the past five to seven years with the casual Fridays. And a lot of the, lately is performance. Uh, performance can be a lot of different things, but the main one that's coming through these days is stretch fabrics. So to make it more comfortable again, uh, so fabrics with Lycra, uh, knit, uh, excuse me, knit fabrics have come into play. So a lot of these types of fabrics, again, to make it more comfortable, uh, and add a little bit more. This would be very much related to the Scaval business. Uh, we are a small company, a niche company, uh, selling luxurious fabrics globally. So the comments that I will give you will obviously uh, be very much based around our and my own personal experience. Uh, and just for information, I've been with the company for over 30 years. So, uh, trends. As I say, difficult one to answer, but I will try and answer from the Scaval perspective. Uh, one of the most important factors during the last 30 years is the weight of the fabrics. And because the fabrics are now as a weight that uh, you can use uh, for, for season, you know, for, for season, and uh, it's a right way of producing articles. Uh, the weight is uh, 160 grams that we use for both season, summer, and winter. So the weight is an important factor. And uh, the second one, the company is not only in the in the, in the textile, but uh, in every field uh, has, to, has to face with uh, the... Uh, like everything else, we are at the confluence of uh, what is traditional and what is modern. Like everything in India is still rooted in tradition and there is a fusion version to it. Uh, we are a country that nearly started, I mean that started wearing pants only about 150 years back. But now everybody wears pants. So from that perspective, everything has to be Indianized in terms of what we observe outside. So the, the classic example of, uh, and with the uh, younger population there, the boundaries of uh, formal wear are now a lot stretched. Uh, even before COVID and definitely after COVID, there's no rules now. 
custom tailoring or bespoke tailoring is whenever we say custom tailoring it's usually formal wear i would feel slightly more comfortable but from a young person's perspective stretch is fit it helps in aiding fit so everything is boiling down to uh, the the end consumer and how they look at it here there is part of the the text we would like to present this trophy to pm rao <laughs> Thank you very much. And, uh, to celebrate our 100th year, centennial year, and this basically this press conference is to to, uh, to showcase our strong partnership that we have with our fabric suppliers and uh, you know the wonderful fine tailoring services that we offer. We had present with us all the international fabric representatives uh, who have come to uh, the, for our function who are here today, and we have also you know been successful in having building a wonderful partnership with them. We are also making products that have been our own selvage p and r selvage designing fabrics for our own uh, requirements and all these companies have been working very closely with us to work on future products in addition we are also celebrating in the evening this evening today uh, you know in our way of saying thank you to uh, the city of bengaluru which has uh, you know which has made us who we are today and uh, you know we realized that uh, we can't take the bangalore out of p and rao and uh, you know bangalore has uh, uh, given us so much and we are so grateful uh, to be part of bangalore with people today this evening at our function in addition to that uh, you know as you all must be remembering in january 19th when we had a launch of our book we had said that we are going to have a reentry into the women's wear and this is like a tribute to my grandfather who was who started as a uh, you know ladies tailor and uh, we also seeing that there is a gap in the market uh, uh, you know for women's business wear which uh